Hello to everybody. Today I'm going to do something that I haven't done in a while, which is another Draw With Me episode. So like, it's a real-time video, it's a slow video. I am recording my text while I'm drawing, just like if we were on live stream on Twitch. It is not live, it is a recording for you to enjoy whenever you want. So I have this little sketch with me. I hope I can uh, play around with the camera focus enough that you can that you can recognize everything. It is uh, a design I'm going to make for Redbubble. You might know that I have a Redbubble shop with some designs and um, and I had a little bit of a monster influence when I was making that Krampus drawing and I'm also working a lot with monsters for commissions right now. So I thought I made this little breast pocket drawing with some with a squid living inside like tentacles coming out. So for this I'm going to use my new road ring micronorm pen. You might have seen that I've recently got these from a friend and I just had to buy me some new ink to get them working again and I am currently using them quite a lot. So I'm just going to start this drawing now. There's always this little blob of ink at the beginning. Because this is a 0 0.25 pen. So it is a very very fine nip. By the way, let, let me take you a little bit closer to what I'm doing. Oh yeah, this worked like a charm for once. So these are uh, mechanical pens and the zero 0.25 nib is so fine that it re uh, recently that it regularly clogs up a bit but sometimes it's only clogged a tiny little bit and you just have to put a little drop of water or just like like I did shake it a little bit so that more ink gets back into the pen to make it working again And I really enjoy these pens because the ink is a really nice dark black color. It's also your usual Rotring ink, Rotring, Rotring, however you want to call it, say it. I don't know how long I'm going to take for this drawing as I've already the sketch prepared I think this should shouldn't take like hours and hours and hours but I might get into a little bit of stippling later and I would say I take you with me through the real-time video for about 20 to 30 minutes like half an hour and then the rest might go into a time lapse. So you can actually see my real drawing speed, which for now is a little bit quicker than I usually do, just because I feel Mm, risky today? Can you call it risky? I want to take the risk. Like, you have days where you're drawing 
and you don't dare put the pen down on the paper because you're afraid of making wrong lines. And I don't feel like that today. I feel quite, feel quite confident in my work today. Which might be due to the fact that I had a lot of sleep and I have a... Uh, The whole day today now ignored commissions that I have like you know I'm a freelance artist animator and illustrator so I don't I currently don't have the luxury of just drawing my art and my projects I have to take commissions and work for other people as well And I feel like today is one of these days where I just uh, just need a little time. Like I'm I'm taking time off working on commissions so that I can work on my drawings, on my projects, on my ideas. Like this uh, tentacle idea I've had for a few days, but I never had the time to make it. Well, let's just say I had the time to make it, but I didn't take the time to make it because the time that I had could also be used to do more relaxing stuff like uh, play a video game. Recently bought me The Long Dark. If you know the game, it is a quiet, chill survival game in the snow. I really enjoyed that on the weekend. So you don't always have to draw and push yourself to be working all the time. It's good to take breaks. Sometimes even drawing can be a break if you just draw with no specific purpose at all and you just want to draw because you feel like it. It's also a very, very sweet feeling. I think that's something that every artist enjoys. Or creative. However you want to call it. I don't, not everybody identifies himself or herself as an artist. So I had these pens myself when I was a little bit younger. I had to have them for school because we um, we still had technical drawing and stuff. And uh, my younger self put them away when I was 18 or... 19 when I was finished with uh, my, my school before I started studying and I put them away with the ink inside the pen like it was ink inside the cartridge so I dis rediscovered those pens and I wanted to use them for drawing because as ever so often I uh, watch a lot of Peter Ross and I see that he also makes a lot of drawings with uh, these rotary pens and it just looks like so much fun and enjoyment while he is doing this that I wanted to try my old pens again and as I found them with the ink inside from like 10 years ago <laughs> Or about ten years ago, uh, they were they were they were clocked. I tried to get them working again because these pens, as you might maybe know, they are quite expensive. So I was like, I'm not going to throw away four pens worth hundred euros or something like that, like one of these pens is between 20-25 euros 
if you buy them as a singular pen you have sets where you can uh, where you can get them for a little bit cheaper if you buy more of them at once but uh, yeah I try to unclog them by uh, rinsing them out and submerging them in water for days and I got a lot of ink out. It was still a lot of ink that uh, got released. I didn't have uh, road ring pens. I think I had one road ring, like uh, the smallest that I wanted to have was a 0 0.18, like really a tiny, tiny tip. And uh, the Stadler, 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 however you call it, um, they didn't have it at that time, or I, I wasn't able to find it. So I got the last sized pen in a road ring. But for the others I had uh, Stadler pens because they were less expensive. And they did the same thing. I think a road ring is just a much more known company, an older company. That's why everybody has the, the road ring or even the Koinor pens. There are many different types and companies of these pens, with these pens. But yeah, I was not able to, to save mine, even with submerging them for days. I even tried uh, vinegar, like I submerged them in water for days. Then I tried to, to clear them out with, with vinegar as well. But they were clogged and they stayed clogged. There is this thing that you can uh, clean them with uh, ultrasonic, like this ultrasonic cleaners. A little bit like um, Star Trek where they take these uh, sonic showers, you have this ultrasonic cleaners, like the... Um, What did I want to say? Um, when you have glasses, the professional people use these ultrasonic cleaners to clean your glasses. It's basically, it is the same thing. But I don't have one of these and I didn't have the guts to ask at one of these professionals if they could clean my pens with their apparatus that they usually clean. The glasses of their customers with. I don't even know if that would work. So I decided that these pens were clogged for good. Let me turn that around. And we have a very very heavy heart. I threw them away. And since then I had the plan to buy me some new pens like those. But I never had the courage to spend so much money on these pens when I still have felt tip pens who do similar work. I had a good fountain pen. You might have seen the videos where I'm drawing with my Twispy Echo. I'm, I'm really happy with that one. And recently I told the story to a friend of mine who's working in a, a bureau, in an office for um, technical drawing, so they have a lot of these pens and they have a lot of old discarded stuff that they don't use anymore and she was like, oh yeah, I can I can just bring you the stuff that we would throw away anyway and she brought me all the stuff and she was like, yeah, I just have to just have to see if there's still stuff in there that works and so on and uh, there was, as you can see, stuff that works So now I have new pens, like the ones I had. I'm very very happy with this. Might be that I'm going to talk about it in uh, some more future videos. Just like if you get something that you you really wanted to have. It's, uh, it's very very satisfying. So I made her a 
drawing, or I'm, I am currently making her a drawing, just to say a little thanks for that cool gift. You can see all the, the stuff I got from her in other videos, just go to my my library, look at some of my vlogs, I'm unboxing all the pens that she got me. But she didn't actually got me pens, she got me parts of pens, I had to to get them together and build one pen out of it. So I have this one which I'm currently working with, and I have uh, this one as well. The one, this one is an isograph, and this one is a micronorm. I don't know if I call them micrograph, but at least it's marked with a micronorm. I also posted my video in a pen forum on Reddit. I share a lot of, of stuff on Reddit and I also look at a lot of stuff on Reddit uh, for inspiration and stuff and sometimes it's just cool cool topics and the guy saw my post with uh, the video where, where ah, not in German nor the guy saw the video where I unboxed uh, the pens and uh, he made the comment that uh, these must also be really really old stuff because there's still um, German names on the pens so, um, uh, how do I... There's always one way you have to turn your drawing to make them the best kind of stroke, the best kind of line with your hand movement. But sometimes you don't want to put your hand on the drawing because you don't want to make smudges. But I, I just have to go there now. But yeah, he said that these must be very very old parts because of the, the German the German branding, the German text on them. I don't know if does Rotring doesn't produce anything anymore for Germany? I haven't looked that up why that was so fascinating for him that it was written in German. Like Rotring sounds like a German company. I never Rotring, Rotring. Never looked that up. So I think I want to have thicker main outlines on this. I'm gonna dare do that now. Let's put this pen aside and take this one. It's a little bit different, like. The nips, the nips are different, but still just two mechanical pens. And the ink is still flowing. I'm so paranoid now that about those things maybe clogging up. So horrible. So this one actually makes a way thicker line than the 0.25. The logic would say that it's only like twice as thick as the 0.25. But I think if I look at this that it's more than twice as thick. Because 2 times 0 0.25 should be 0 0.5, but I think um, because of the because of the paper and the way it sucks in the ink, it changes the the thickness of the stroke a bit. Ooh. Better. 
So do I also separate the pocket from the tentacles or do I make it like one big outline? I think firstly I want to have one big outline. I can already see that we are 20 minutes in, 21 minutes in. That's one thing I fear about these um, real-time videos, is uh, that they get too long for too slow a movement. Like, how interesting are these videos actually to you? when I'm moving this slow. Because we are in, in, in our current culture, we are like this, uh, like people say, this one-click culture. You want to have something quick, you want to have something fast, you want to have solutions fast, you want to have information fast. So why would people watch something that is as slow as this? And I already think that I'm like in a hurry because I'm a little bit courageous with my lines today. So I'm not that afraid of making mistakes. Usually I'm also a little bit more afraid about making mistakes. But today I'm just running and running and running and running. If you could uh, tell me if you like these types of videos, uh, just leave a comment. I would be happy to hear who actually watches real-time videos and also why you like them. Like, for example, why why did you watch me draw and and talk? Like, what's the, what's the reason? What did you enjoy? Did you enjoy the company like having a drawing body while you were drawing yourself or just having a voice droning in the background or did you actually want to see the painstakingly slow process of of drawing So just uh, just let me know. I would like to exchange a little bit with my viewers and my subscribers, like uh, a little bit of communication. Also, if you enjoy this video, you can also follow me on on Twitch. I've recently uh, started some live streaming on Twitch. I'm enjoying that as well. Because it's sometimes it's uh, motivating to to keep drawing. Like you start a drawing, and you would stop after half an hour because you're not well. You're not hundred percent motivated, but then there are like one or two people watching you work, and they keep you going. Like like oh, I cannot stop now. I have people watching me. And they want to see a little bit more. I've only been online for 30 minutes. Just uh, you just feel like you have to continue a little bit more. Like my Krampus drawing, I did it. At least the the inking process, I did it on live stream. And uh, I was already so ready to just stop drawing. And there were like four or five people watching me, and in the end, I worked for like uh, two and a half hours on on that drawing just because there were people watching me. I want to separate the tentacles from the pocket. I want to do that now. Wish me luck that it is a good decision. 
I cannot take it back once I put this stroke on the paper. I there can see how I'm becoming more quiet when I am concentrating. Zoom out a little bit, show you a little bit more of the drawing. Ta-da! And I think I'm going to leave the, the stippling and the texturing for the time-lapse video because that's something that's really really slow as well. I've done stippling and texturing on uh, Twitch before and uh, there are not many people who stay to watch because it's just, it's just making dots. So I'm just going to use this pen now to continue with the, the time-lapse drawing. I'm going to post both videos, like I, this one in uh, real time and the, ti the time-lapse video of the texturing. You can watch it in full speed. And I hope uh, you enjoyed this video a little bit and that I might see you next time. If you have any questions for the pens or the drawing I just made, just uh, just let me know. Bye.